What up, players? It's War Boss Tab in this mud. Happy Easter weekend. I've got a Cyborg Miniatures model here. Cyborgminiatures.com. It is the 28mm slash 30mm Easter Bunny. What? So Cyborg is a company that comes up with some great alternative sculpts. Just really fun stuff that... Um, just ridiculously fun uh, scenic bases, conversion kits, all sorts of fun stuff. And I saw this and I just had to get it. It was just so cool. So in celebration of Easter, let's, <laughs> let's check it out. First, let's take a look at the base. It's kind of something of a slate looking base with a rough texture, resin, eggshell pieces there, and a tiny little gobble popping his head out. Don't hit me! Like he's hiding inside there. We got some leaf leaves in the back here. That almost tropical looking leaves coming up. Lustria maybe, but really could be anywhere. And oh man, this, the, the, the options, the things you can do with this egg. You could paint it like pink with white polka dots or white with blue polka dots or I'm gonna have to go looking for some, some Easter egg designs. Well, we'll end with the dwarf itself. Let's take a look at this. This is ears. So kind of fur texture to them. And let's take a look at the dwarf himself. And he just looks awesome. Zipper up the back of his bunny suit, little bunny tail. Little bit of flash between the legs, but there he is. Look at that. That is hilarious. I <laughs> couldn't have so much fun painting this guy. I mean, look at his face. Look at his, the features on his face, the dour, gruff, dwarf look in this ridiculously campy bunny rabbit outfit. Plated beard, uh, braided beard thing going on there. Just like a, just like you, they took a regular Warhammer dwarf, stuck him in a pink bunny outfit and he's got his hands on his hips like, I can't believe this. I am getting too old for this. Beep. So simple way to clean. I don't see any mold lines. I'll take a look at it. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, of a mold line shift thing going on right here. Kind of see it there. Uh, but a little scrapey scrape with the back of my hobby knife should clean that right up. I'm gonna wanna take the back of your hobby knife too and just scrape the inside where the flash is. Easy peasy, easy peasy. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these resin pieces before I even glue them together or cut them out or do anything. I'm just gonna take them and I'm gonna wash them in some warm water. Scrub them with some hand soap. And when I'm done scrubbing them with hand soap, what I'm gonna do is clip them out let, after I let them dry and glue the ears on. I'll show you that part. We'll do a little bit of a, a build fast forward video part for that. And I'll stick this guy. I, actually, I don't know if I wanna stick him to the base yet. I think I wanna paint them separately, but stay tuned and I'll show you what that all looks like. One more thing I wanted to point out, after I clipped these ears off of the little resin base, I looked underneath it and I can see a lot of flash and a, a little bit of a mold line there. So you also get to snip these apart. So we'll do that right now. And I probably should have left, left them clipped together or kept together for the, the water, but for washing them, but that's okay. You can kind of really see how much, a little bit of effort you're gonna have to put into just scraping the back there. You wanna be careful. You don't wanna scrape too much detail off. If you're feeling very brave, you can scrape at the mold line, but always safer to just use the back of your hobby knife. A lot of people don't realize, I didn't even know when I started for a long, long time, how easy it is to just use the back of your knife. I was ruining so many Space Marine shoulder pads and armor pieces because I was cleaning them by trying to use the blade of the knife to scrape along the mold line. And then what that does is it flattens out more of the model, more of the piece than you want to. So don't make that mistake. This is a really easy, easy war boss tip. Just use the back of your knife unless you're dealing with large pieces of flash. For regular mold lines, the back of your knife is just gonna be fine, gonna be just fine.
Okay, we will be right back. I'm gonna go wash these pieces and we'll glue them together in a minute. So there's not really much to say. I used the Gale Force 9 super glue, put a little dab up on his head, and right at the top there's a smooth little piece on the head area for the ear to go. So yeah, I just stick it on. And then I waited a little while. There was a little cut in the video there where I actually waited a couple hours. And then I attached the second piece here. I put a little bit too much glue though, so you're gonna notice that I go back and after holding the ear in place, I'm letting it go. I get a little piece of a napkin that I've been using to wipe my paint on and then I just kind of dab it along the edge there. Great, great kit, easy, it's really easy to put together, just a couple of years and you're done. And there you have it, not much of a build video because we're just clipping on and gluing on the ears, but you do want to make sure that you have a good dry fit before you start. Uh, I lo love this figure. Like I said, it's going to be so much fun to paint. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, unboxing. Cyborg Miniatures, go check them out. Many of you already know who they are and what they do. And yeah, they might have something weird, quirky, or just a little bit off the beaten path that you would like to purchase. Thanks for watching.